Welcome back to Modular Madness. You know, we are in round two of our bracket. Round one saw a lot of upsets of our first five seeds, only the top two advanced. And in our matchup here today, we've got something similar. We've got the Assembly Square, which was the sixth seed, versus the Bookshop, which was one of those big upsets where the 14th seed defeated the three seed. We're going to be comparing the buildings to one another to see, in the end, which one we vote for to move on to the next round. Autumn has volunteered to go first. Autumn, compare the sets for us. So, the Assembly Square has really cool out exterior, and it's much cooler than the bookshop, but the bookshop has brighter exterior than the Assembly Square, and the interior on the Assembly Square is really good for being an older set, but the bookshop is more of a newer set, and it does have good interior, but I feel like the exterior is better than the interior on the bookshop, and the assembly square interior is a little better than the bookshop interior. Mommy, what do you think? I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. When we start at the top, we have the rooftops. There's not much going on on the rooftop of the bookshop, whereas on Assembly Square, you have a really cool grill on one of the buildings and a little bit more space to do what you, if you wanted to play on the roof. The blue building has a skylight. There's just more going on on the rooftop. As far as the roof lines go, again, I think Assembly Square has got uh, an advantage over the bookshop. We have a lot of really cool details on the building on the right we've got all the scroll work which is really nice the building on the left we've got these cool architectural details the one in the middle we've got those bulldozer scoops so we've got some really cool things going on at the roof lines on the bookshop there's really nothing at the roof line there's the dormer on the house which is really cool and the swirly thing on the front of the bookshop those aren't quite the roof line but they are they are cool details at the top Taking a look at the windows, the dormers on the house, I think, are the coolest windows. I love those dormers. After that, I take a look at the bookshop windows and the blue building windows from Assembly Square, and I think they're pretty comparable as far as detail and sophistication. I like them both. And then we have some pretty simple windows on the other buildings. So if we were just looking at the windows, I might give it to the bookshop for the advantage. Looking at the doors, again, my favorite doors are on that house of the bookshop set. But the doors on Assembly Square are all more commercial based, and I really do like those kind of iconic signs above the doors, as Autumn was mentioning. Assembly Square has more commercial buildings, but the bookshop just has the bookshop on two of the levels, and the rest of it is all residential. Whereas in the Assembly Square, we're looking more at a a square, so you know it's going to be more commercial. There's only one room in the entire set that is more residential in nature. So we've got a lot more going on as far as businesses go, which I think is kind of fun. Up until this point, the two sets seem fairly comparable, but now we start to get to some things that the bookshop just doesn't have. We've got a fountain, we've got this whole little plaza type look that we just don't have in the bookshop. That's just not part of the set. And I really love that about Assembly Square. Once we go inside, the interiors of the bookshop just leave me not impressed. There's some cool things in some of the residential areas, but the bookshop is pretty plain. And in Assembly Square, we just have all these really cool little shops. The bakery is really cool. It's got all these little cakes and things, the flower shop. We've got a dance studio and a music store. And I just like the interiors on the Assembly Square a lot more than the bookshop. So that's my rundown of the comparison of the two sets. Colin, what do you think? Good points made by everyone so far. What I'm going to address are some of the, the building techniques that I enjoy and some of the ones that maybe aren't as uh, comparable between the two. So when I look at the roof lines, I think that the building techniques for the bookshop, very sleek. And I had mentioned in the first round video that I really do like the... Uh, dormer windows and the way they do the roof on the apartment there. But the assembly square has some fantastic elements to it. Now, I can't give them full marks for what they have going up above the 
blue building because that's kind of a little bit of a play on the Grand Emporium roof. But the use of the digger buckets on the green building and this very German architecture uh, that they have with the white chicken and the dark blue pinnacle roof, I think are really excellent and somewhat comparable, I think, in terms of technique and look to the bookshop and the apartment that come with it. Now, in terms of overall aesthetics on the exterior, I got to say that I prefer Assembly Square. There's more detail. There's more interesting building techniques. And that's not a fault of the apartment side of the bookshop. Rather, the bookshop itself is, I think, more of a plain set. When we think of the interiors, again, I think that the bookshop has some good elements to it. But because it's a bookshop that doesn't have very many books in it, it's kind of weird to me. Um, there's a lot of turf for the assembly square to have interior detail and they fill it out and i think that's a huge plus to the set and finally when i take a look at the ex or the um, outdoor ambiance uh, i love the tree for the bookshop uh, but does that compare with some of the really nice sidewalk and pavement detailing we see in the assembly square as well as the fountain i'm not so sure i think that i might give the edge to the assembly square now to wrap up our comparison we're going to turn things over to Kiara. I kind of like the turrets. So on the assembly square, it's like brickwork and it's sort of castle -y, but I like the bay window on the bookshop. It um, has candles and it has a garden below it. All right, so that puts us in line for our vote. Autumn, which one are you voting for? Bookshop. Mm, one vote to the bookshop. Assembly Square. I likewise will be voting for Assembly Square. Kiara? Bookshop. And we've got a tie. <laughs> Again with the kids on the very set and the adults on the one set. I would disagree. <laughs> All right. Let's go to overtime. All right, so we've got our tiebreaker. Colin, what happened in the tiebreaker? Well, let me tell you, everybody, we contacted our friend who has both of the sets. And in a complete shock to Julia and I, and a wonderful surprise for Autumn and Kiara, he chose the bookshop. So we have a huge upset, at least in my mind. I thought the Assembly Square was going to take home the championship or certainly might be close to it but in the end the bookshop is moving on your reaction yeah same as colin i thought the assembly square was just incredible and i thought it could go to the end so i was very surprised and here we have the bookshop moving on all right everyone stay tuned for the next round because it's getting exciting Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time for more Modular Madness.